Hi, I'm Franklin, and today we're going to talk about Rackin' Pinions and FLL. Rack and pinions convert rotational motion to linear motion. Here's what I mean by that. A rack and pinion has two parts, a pinion and a rack. The pinion part is a gear whose teeth interlock with the teeth on the rack. So when the gear rotates, the rack moves forward and backward, aka linear motion. In first LEGO League, rack and pinions are extremely useful because motors give rotational motion and some mo missions can only be completed with linear motion. So how do you build a rack and pinion in LEGO? The first way is to use these 1x4 rack and pinion plates that LEGO makes. So how do we make these plates compatible with 40 teeth gear, 24 teeth gear, and 8 teeth gear? Well, you have to stack these on top of plates first. So I'll stack them on, onto these plates. And then we'll have to attach these plates to this beam. And so how we do that is we use these stud half pins and we put them into this beam. Now we can connect this to the beam. But we're not done yet. We still have to make a housing for our rack so that it doesn't slide in ways we don't want it to. So here I've made a housing and when we insert our rack into it we can see that it can only slide this way and not this way. Let's take our 24 tooth gear and drive an axle through it so that when we turn the axle it moves the rack and pinion back and forth. Another way you can build a rack and pinion for FLL is to use the rack and pinion pieces that LEGO already provides. So here we have a rack and its housing. When we insert the rack into the housing we can see that it's loose and that it can come out accidentally like that. So to re prevent that from happening let's grab an axle like this one, and insert it into this hole right here. So now, the rack and pinion can move straight and it won't come out accidentally. Now, let's power this thing. So, let's grab a beam and attach it here. So that, when we take a 12 tooth gear, we place it here, and then put an axle through it, when we turn this axle, the rack and pinion piece moves. Lego also makes this rack and pinion piece, but as you can see, it doesn't have its own custom housing. So that means we'll have to make one. So I've already made this one, and like before, we'll take our 12 tooth gear and put an axle through it, like this. So that when we spin the axle, the rack piece moves. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps out your FLL team.